guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a foundation wear test. So before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And without further ado, let's jump right in. Okay, so first I'm going to prime my skin with the Becca First Light Priming Filter. It's the purple one. And I've seen Kathleen Lights use this a few times in her videos, so I thought I would try it out because it was 50% off for the 21 Days of Beauty sale at Ulta just like a couple weeks ago. And I've used it like a couple of times now, and I would say that it gives my face more of like a fresh glow within look rather than like a super glowy, um, I don't, almost like, I thought it would be more like a liquid highlighter that you mix in with your foundation but not really so it's more of like a glow within and I do like it I think it smooths out my foundation underneath I haven't been like a person who swears by primers but I did want to try this one out and so far so good um I would say that it does make my makeup look nice I don't know about the lasting power on it though so yeah <laughs> Also, I want to apologize for my background. I know it's a little bit messy. I'm sitting on the floor because I just wanted to do something kind of casual and like chit chatty. So I didn't really set up like my whole setup with my chair and my little desk in front of me. And so I just felt lazy and I'm sitting on the floor for this video. So I hope you guys don't mind that. Now I'm going to spritz my face with the Mario Badescu skincare facial spray with aloe, chamomile, and lavender. I have talked about this in my um, skincare get unready with me video. And like I said, I did in that video, I said I really did like it um, after four times using it. I mean, I haven't used a ton of it, <laughs> as you can see, but I think I will repurchase it once I do run out of it. So I usually use a damp beauty blender to apply my foundation, so that's what I'm going to do with this, just to give it a fair shot. So now I'm going in with the LA Girl Pro Matte Foundation, HD High Definition Long Wear Matte Foundation. Um, I've heard very mixed things about this, so I am excited to try it. I have used LA Girl's foundation before. I have the Pro Coverage HD High Definition Long Wearing Illuminating Foundation, and I do like this. It is too dark for me. This is in the shade Fair, but I mix it with the LA Girl Pro Coverage White Illuminating Foundation, and just, I mix it until I get the right color. So that's a little annoying because I feel like the shade range kind of sucks for this, but this looks a little, eh, it might be okay. I'm not sure if it's going to be a little too light though. So I'm a little worried about that, but let's see. So I'm applying this with a damp beauty blender. That's how I usually apply my foundations. So I want to give it a fair shot. All right, are you coming out? So first impressions, it does look a little uh, might be a little light, but we'll see. Maybe not. It might be crazy. So I guess I'll just start blending that in now. So as I'm blending this in, 
I feel like it looks, I mean the camera is not, I feel like it's not picking it up like perfectly, but I feel like it looks um, almost like a medium coverage. I don't know if it's buildable, but I guess we can, we can see. Hmm. zoom you guys in just so you can see a little bit better so that was about like one and a half pumps so I'm gonna add some more and see if it's buildable by the way I just got my eyebrows done um, this past weekend and she did them so thin I'm just not used to it I don't know I don't think they look bad or anything but I'm just not used to them being so thin I'm more used to them being like Fluffier and a little bushy. Sorry if I'm looking into the viewfinder. I'm using it as a mirror. It's crazy, like the lighting and the camera, it makes it look very smooth and flawless, but in person, it definitely looks more, I don't know, like almost a little patchy. But we'll see how it works and wears throughout the day. Alright, so I started this video a little later than I wanted to. It's around 2 o'clock now. I have to go do some things. I'm going to um, my university to pick up my cap and gown, so that's very exciting. And then I'm going to Target, running some errands, and I will be back to show you how it looks. Alright, so now I'm probably going to go and film another video of my drugstore first impressions kind of video and then I will be back to um, tell you how it goes throughout the day. See you in a little bit. Okay, so it is now around six o'clock. So the foundation has been on for about four hours now and this is how it looks right now. I'm saying it looks, I think it looks pretty good. I mean, not bad. And I will see you in my next chicken. And here's how it looks in natural lighting. So overall, I think the color is a good match for me. All right, guys. So this is my second check-in and I just got home. I had my graduation pictures done today and went to Target and did the errands and now I just got home and it is 8.32 so my foundation has been on for about six and a half hours now and this is what it looks like now. So for being on six and a half hours, I think it looks really, really good so far. So I will be back probably three to four hours, maybe longer, and do my final check-in and tell you my thoughts on this foundation. All right, guys, so now it's around 1230 in the morning, and I've had this foundation on for 10 hours now. And I'm going to zoom you guys in to show you what it looks like. my highlights still there I rubbed off a little bit on my chin here I lost my lipstick about an hour ago because I had olive oil on my salad and it just took the whole thing off but I will say 
the lipstick lasted a pretty long time on me. It's probably one of my new favorite formulas of liquid lipstick. I mean, it was a velvet, but it did dry down and it wasn't drying at all. So I definitely will be checking more of those out. Oh, I meant to zoom out. <laughs> my bad. And I will say, I changed my mind about this mascara. I do like it. For every day, I think it looks nice. I think my lashes look kind of wispy. Um, this brow pencil, uh, so bomb. <laughs> this brow pencil is so bomb. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I mean, my highlight's still on. I think the foundation, overall... For 10 hours of wear, I think it looks awesome. <laughs> Sorry, I keep forgetting I'm zoomed in. <laughs> For 10 hours of wear, I think it looks awesome, and I would recommend this to anyone with, like, normal to drier skin. I wouldn't recommend it for someone who has really, really dry skin. But I think it's really funny because when I put it on, I wasn't in love with it. Like, it definitely looked patchy and, like... A little bit cakey but once I like put all the rest of my face on and I like set it and did my facial spray and everything like it looks really good I mean I think it looks really good I definitely will use it again I think it was a good color match I'm really shocked that it matched me so well I don't know if it oxidized or if I've just been using <laughs> darker foundations and been mixing the white foundation into it and that's why I feel like it looks so light in the bottle but I think for my skin tone it matched me really well and that shade was let me go get it oh it's right here that shade is GLM 671 ivory and so it does say it was long as a long wear matte foundation. I would say for 10 hours, that's pretty long wearing. And for a drugstore price, I definitely think this is a good one. Um, I'll have to try it again and like see if I love it because like I said, this was just like a first impressions. But so far, like on the wear test, I think it really you know, shows that it lives up to its hype. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Comment down below if you want to see more foundation videos like this one and what you want to see next from me. I'd love to hear it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave to follow me on my YouTube journey. Hit that little notification bell to be notified every time I upload and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.